Remember, if you're an NBA fan, hey, Michael Jordan, Chicago Bulls, repeat, three-peat. Well, let me introduce you to Amelia Jensen <laughs> on a brown trout stream, repeat, defeat. <laughs> oh. <laughs> um, every once in a while, oh. uh, you're, you, you run into a really good fly fisher yeah. that just has just brutal luck. Uh, I remember a day with our friend Jack when we lined up and it was a mayfly hatch, there were seven or eight fish in a row that afternoon, evening, and the fish were just gimmies. They were just sitting there. Mm -hmm. And every single fish that he lined up on, beautiful cast, beautiful presentation, approach, everything, textbook, fish comes up, eats, set the hook, and the fly comes out. Guess what? Uh, Amelia is gonna <laughs> gonna share with you. Oh <laughs> some yeah, painful, similar yeah. session. <laughs> oh, so real painful stuff coming. Oh yeah, absolutely. But you know what? I really enjoyed it, guys, because I really had a strong go, and I know that there was a lot of strength in the cast that I was oh, doing yeah. and where I was presenting my flies. And hey, man, <laughs> yeah, I I had some chances, but yeah, I I feel like you know again. And we've talked about how it's not always angler error. Um, and I think in this situation... Well, when you see what you happens know, with this with this sequence of fish, I mean, it's a sequence of fish for the ages. And you, you name it, it happened, and it was just against you. Oh, yeah, it just was. It was against me for actually landing a fish, you a know, fish. even ho even <laughs> hooking them properly to land you them. You sound quite know? emphatic about Whoa. the hooking. Hooking. <laughs> yeah, so, okay, let's get to yeah. it. Uh, you're gonna. This is a hell of a display, and uh, let's go show you how <laughs> to lose fish and maybe not influence the takes. <laughs> <laughs> now, I'm up high on the bank. This is, I got to move slow because I'm high and exposed. This time I don't want to be in the water just yet, and I got a big old hopper. And this is a case of their structure, their structure, off those points and undercuts, maybe even along this side. Um, we're going to see. And I used to catch a few just up on the corner up ahead here, and we'll see. Wow, that's tall grass, hey? Okay, little twitch cast. Got to get myself together here. Doesn't look like it's that deep. In other words, um, just work this side, twitch it, twitch it, and I think let's just target that over there, try to induce a take from out from underneath. Sometimes you're going to see these fish, and that's perfect just cruising water along that muddy marl. This is crazy tall grass. I'm 6'2", and how do you do? I got to go again here. Okay, right there, right, there he is. Yeah, he came right out from underneath that stick. Oh man, total draw out on that one. Wow, that was gorgeous, gorgeous eat. How fun was that? Drew that fish out. Who says they don't eat hoppers? <laughs> he came right out at me too. I had to wait on that hook set. That, that was awesome. Fun to watch, eh? There you go. Size does not matter when it's fun like that. That was great. Oh, flies out, love. Right oh. That's pretty cool, hey? Oh, hell yeah. Nice. Got that? Yeah, I do. Awesome. Wicked. Hey, what was that, love? 
Oh, that fish came from tucked under. Yeah. He definitely, it wasn't what we were possibly thinking was a fish, which I thought, no, it wasn't. No. But there had to be one there. Oh, underneath a bank, underneath overhead cover. Yep. Always, always, always. And they're really cool when they come out. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Again, at you though, good job waiting. Had to wait on that take. Had to wait on that take. So again, as I go along here, I'm looking on the far side under. If you're casting and working this, peripheral vision to any motion to movement over there, you can see what's coming down the middle. You can see what's coming down the far bank. At the same time, you're not gonna miss that hopper getting sucked in. No chance. <laughs> So you can walk and talk and chew gum and catch fish at the same time. Okay, a little undercut there. I don't expect that's not deep enough. But as you get over to here and you look back at where I caught the fish in there, that's definitely prime water. So we're just gonna keep going. This is low probability stuff along here. It's just not heavy, uh, deep, heavy cover. It's all exposed if there's a fish. See, there are big fish cruising from the big, uh, deeper water with undercuts upstream, or it's gonna be a smaller fish. And I know by smaller guys, I do mean, you know, under 18 inches. And by big, I mean 22 plus. That's just the nature of this creek. So don't go going, all you guys do is target big fish. No, that's, we just fish where the fish are. There was a little rise up here, love. Yeah, I'm just gonna have a go. Yeah. See if, look, there he is, nice fish. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh-oh, 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 uh-oh. <laughs> oh, that's nice fish. That's 18. Oh, he took it too. He took it good. Look at that one, eh? It was just a little dimple of her eyes, but now I have an 18 to 20 inch fish on my, on my line. <laughs> and that's why, that's why I fought for catch and release. That right there. That's a gorgeous fish. Absolutely gorgeous fish. Wicked. Okay, so back in the big, tall grasses. Whoop. There's always cracks and, and steps in this stuff. So you gotta watch yourself. So right now there's a bunch of people saying, Dave, why aren't you in the creek? Um, the reason I'm not in the creek is because, well, I wanna be able to see that far bank. I know what's gonna cruise here. And while, <laughs> while it would be way easier to work this bank right here in front of me from down there, in near thigh deep water, I want to see the big one that's going to come cruising this shallow mud marl across from me. Yeah, so now we're entering the, the zone where all the way up that far bank, while you're fishing the outturn, which has the true undercut, you can easily have a two foot fish come down that, that other side. Oh, here's one. Here he comes. Come on. No, he was scooching. Yeah, he was moving pretty quick from way upstream. I don't know. 20, 22? Wow, yeah, he was right below you. Yeah, he was. I don't know. He came down from this side, like our bank. I don't know where he went. Did you? No, I said I never did. Oh, okay. So you had to be on our bank. Yeah. Well, guys, it's my turn to have a go. Uh, we're on a gorgeous stretch of water right ahead of me that I've actually done really quite well in through the years. So here's hoping that I get up, pause, up, pause, place, that I actually get, uh, you know, some good looks and possibly a, a good eat or two. Haven't seen any, haven't seen any uh, rises as yet. Not a surprise. Again, this is the kind of prospecting that's needed is to simply all the various banks. And I know to start with, I'm gonna get a few casts simply right over into this right bank because there is a little bit of structure, weed line and a trough. But as I go up, probably start to focus a lot more left. 
And that's why I'm gonna get a cast right now, right up in there and just see what happens. I'm not seeing them yet. I'll keep fishing it, Mills. Keep yep. It. You're too cautious. Yep. Here, Here he comes. Yeah. Yes. Oh, oh. Right at you. But I waited. You wow. did wait. What's that? You did wait. Interesting. Maybe too long. No. Wow. He never turned. That he was. Ate. He, he ate and he just hovered there. He hovered. That's what it seemed like yeah. to me. Wow. I it was thought, so yeah. slow. Yeah, oh, was, guys. <laughs> Yeah, that's uh, yeah, a little bit of a heartbreak, but you just, you know what happened. I mean, I waited, but as Dave said, and this is what I was watching, is that fish came up so slow and just sucked it in and paused. He didn't turn, he didn't do anything. Oh, well, this bank ahead of us, guys, we have done really well on in previous years for sure at different times, because there's a really nice trough that runs all the way along here. So I'm gonna to try to get, again, those casts where I reach, really you know? The the oh, okay, I didn't see, and, and this side of the bank? Oh, I see him, yeah, I see him, okay. Fine. That's fine. We'll get to him. Yeah, we will. I'm gonna work this. You know he's gotta be here. We saw the rise, he's somewhere around. You can see everything across the way, Dave? Yeah, I'd hate to not have him swim by, but okay, here we go, up, pause, up, pause, place, yeah, come on, fish. Up, up. That's too far. Too far out now? Okay. Just. It'll come now. Okay, tight guys, tight, tight, tight. Where'd this fish go? I know, right? Well, he, cruising. <laughs> he rose twice and that was it. Blocks. Oh, come what a on. Cast. Yes! Yes! Hell, oh, no! I stripped and that was it. He ate, oh. turned upstream, and then immediately turned downstream right at you. Oh, man! Oh, oh shithouse luck, guys, on getting these things to stick. Oh man, but man, I was proud of that cast and everything. Ugh, bloody hell. Oh well, Hey. gotta move on, man. You always have to have a try and that's super cool. I don't know what you're filming, Dave, but I know that I loved where I placed it. You think I had any slack too? I was no, so trying no, to have a straight line. No, so there was, was oh, thank you, Come man. On. Frick ball, ah, it just happens. It happens. A, <laughs> a 40 foot reach cast over top of grass and you induce a take from a 22 inch brown that happenstance the fly just pops out. No. Oh man, yeah. Oh well, man, but that was fun. It was really fun. I love those takes guys. Couple feet off the bank and you just get that whoosh whoosh and yeah, super, super fun. Well guys, I've decided now to actually get in the water here. And the reason for that is that that last big fish um, that I cast you, that was, you know, coming out tight, tight, tight from the bank over here where I'm pointing, right in those willows, he actually at the time wanted nothing to do with my hopper. Um, but we also got thinking like, I've, I've got a lot of height above these fish. Um, as well as the angles of the light of the sun. And well, it's kind of a bit of an you know, overcast day, but that filtered sun anyway, um, there's a level of being exposed up here that isn't great. And so I wanna get in, try to eliminate that and just keep working all the likely spots where the willows come out. And there's, I mean, there's amazing undercut banks on that side. So I'm gonna give her a go. Okay guys, so I've decided just to prospect this. We were hoping to wait and have this guy rise in a few spots so maybe we could hone in on him tight with the camera, but doesn't seem to be happening. So I'm just gonna get some casts going here and just see what happens. So I gotta go quite a bit higher into that cove area, hey? Yeah. Okay. Ooh. Ooh. Schmackos, a little too aggressive. 
Okay. A little too aggressive. Oh yeah! Oh yeah! Oh yeah! Come on, come on, come on, come on. Wow. That was random. I was not expecting that right there. But that's a good fish. Come on, come on, come on, come on, come on, come on. Keep it out, keep it out. Keep it sideways, sideways. Sideways, sideways. Yeah, that was cool. I, again, one of those leave it on the water situations. Wow. I was not expecting him, but that's cool. I'll take it. Again, wow, they suck it in. And you can't, I actually had no idea from my angle how big a fish this was. It's not big, but you know what? I'll take that. Fish landed. <laughs> Sweet. <laughs> Beauty. Well, it's gorgeous, guys. Yeah. Beautiful, beautiful brownie. And there we go. Away she goes. Well, I had a super fun go there of just looking as well as prospecting, hey? Well, the neat thing is I, I had an hour, okay? And then yep. you had an hour. I caught two fish that both came like this. And then I had one that just came down the shoreline was boogieing. That's three fish. Yep. You came through here. You stuck two fish. And you caught your third fish. Yep. One hour, one hour. And you, both of your fish, the first one came out and just didn't want to turn. It That's just hovered right. there. Yep. And you set the hook. You couldn't have waited any longer. He would have just gone like this and spit it out. Yeah. And you pulled the hook out. Yep. And then your next one, he ate, turned up. And as you set the hook, he was turning to do the classic fish head shake and opened his mouth and you pulled it out. Yeah, just didn't have a so chance. So you were basically split second, you know, a tenth of a second, 20, uh, two tenths of a second away from being three for three, but you were one for three. And that's how <laughs> yep. close it is. But yep. the point is when you're hunting brown trout in this kind of water, it's not, you know, it's three fish an hour. This isn't cutthroat trout no. fishing. No, 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 it's so. just, it just really isn't. And you know what, guys? I mean, I think the biggest thing to be said there too sometimes is, you know, it's nice to get into a rhythm. You know, we give each other yes. a good stretch of river. So, you know, Dave would have had maybe 150 yards. I had the same. Yeah. And you know, you take your time. We're really taking our time <laughs> on these streams, right? Yeah. It's the only way to do it, in my opinion. It's the only way to have a chance. But you know, you can get into that rhythm of casting that you need to. Whereas if you're switching up with your buddy constantly, yeah. there's no rhythm to that. My turn, and your turn. I'm gonna beat you to the next one. Yeah. No, we'll give away, look, look for fish, look for yeah. cruisers, that kind of stuff. And it, it's really cool. But again, like to your point, full credit to you, it's rhythm. It's all yes. about how, the reason today we said it's gonna be tough, but we're gonna come across fish. So I get, you know, you gave me the first hour and it's like, wait a second, I yeah. paid attention to that mm -hmm. because then I thought, well, why don't I give you an hour? Yeah, and you did, and it was just awesome. And I loved it. I loved it because, you know, part of fly fishing, um, if you want to improve your skills, is really focusing in on that cast. And, you know, there's a lot of things that I'm still trying to improve through the years. And I just, it was so nice to feel really good about some of those casts, fish or no fish, right? <laughs> that one cast and that you reached, yeah. up, you were like this and reached up over the grasses, laid your line out, and that, that was the fish that took and then turned up and hooked sideways. That fish right there, it, it was, I don't, I, I, I couldn't, I, I of myself, and I don't think, you know, I fish, I've seen John Girak and AK Beth, that cast right there is a prototypical reach over the, of the grass that you can't do any better when you're fishing terrestrials. You nailed it, you missed it, but a fish because of circumstance. Well, well. that's a huge compliment <laughs> coming from a guy who, yeah, I, oh, no, no, like, no, no, no. you know, has taught me so much and, and it's really cool. And so it's, it's nice to be able to just share in each other's successes, right? And that's the other thing about fishing with somebody is you can share in their success. And that's such a big, big part of it. So that's yeah. cool, guys. Thanks You're, for coming along and watching yeah. that. Let's go <laughs> see if there's another one up okay, here. Okay, cool. Jeez, hey? And up. Okay, now there's a rise yep. right on the top side of that point up there. Yep. So I'm just going to work just like I can't ignore stuff leading into it. As much as I'd like to ignore it and just go at it, it was one rise. And is that fish stationed? Is it moving? Is it. What is it doing? If I see another rise, that's one thing. That's tough water right now. 
really tough water. But that fish it might be there. It might be there. The one rise we saw might be there. Might not be there. Barb ran. Oh yeah. Nice. Oh, I just flipped that one out there on the edge. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. I just left-handed <laughs> flip. Oh geez. I got it. No, no. Oh yeah. Just put yourself in the creek. Oh, he's off. Yeah, I, I had no chance after I fell down the bank. I didn't see that step. Ow, that hurt too. Yeah, he wanted the beetle. <laughs> oh yeah. No, I, I'm, I'm golden peachy. I just kind of, I, I was looking at the fish so hard that I, I missed this step here. <laughs> you know, it reminded me of Seinfeld. It's like, hey. <laughs> Jimmy's down. Jimmy's down. Jimmy's hurt. <laughs> it was kind of like, oh, Dave's going to put the moves on a lane. No, Dave's going to put the moves on a brown trout. I oh, no. Dave's down. Dave's hurt. <laughs> <laughs> <It's> like, <laughs> Jimmy's down. down. Oh, Dumbass is down. I that's the first time in 40 years of fishing this creek. I completely missed a step. I was so, I just flipped that cast out there left-handed. It was like, ah, whatever, just up on the point. I look to get, make my next step. I look up and this big black head is coming up. It's like, oh yeah, it's like the Kool-Aid man again. It's like, well, yeah, I went bustling through the bank. It was like, nah, I'm a dumbass. I completely missed that. And that's only a rod length above the creek. You know, I just fell, I just, I just stepped down. I was like, I'm just gonna go to, to infinity and beyond. <laughs> yeah, you were doing it. <laughs> <laughs> oh man. I'll give you a snorkel look next time. Oh, Amelia is gonna give me his mask and snorkel <laughs> for my 49th, yeah. Well guys, we've got a fish that's in, you know, some super low clear water and he's ahead of, ahead of us here. Dave's just trying to potentially film him. He's just out from that alder tree right up there he's out maybe about four feet off the bank five feet off the bank and uh just he's actually glowing to us good once luck. i get in the water it's gonna be good luck chuck yeah because yeah it, you know there's so much of a chance that this fish is gonna spook as soon as my fly hits the water i'm going to definitely cast well to its side not anywhere near it um, in hopes that it comes and takes and you know again that's that whole lateral line thing um, but we got to have a go I've got 4x um, down to a much smaller profile beetle um, it's actually one of Reese's beetles so yeah we're gonna give that a go and yeah gotta have have a go we see a good looking fish so I'm just starting to get in the water here now guys and even that alone might uh, Scoop the fish, but uh, you have to try. So I'm gonna do my best to slide without being noticed. And of course, I have no vision of him right now right at all, but it's just basically out from the alder. Yeah, the one that's, I can't see the beta glass in the water. But here we go. Refused. Refused. And? Oh yeah, oh! What happened? Oh. Right at me and I didn't what? wait or what? No. You, well, are you talking? Go for it, tell me. No, the fish came, fish came screaming off the bank, turned towards you, refused, did a full 360, came back facing right at you and just lipped your fly. Yeah. He took it, but he just lipped it and he kept coming at you. Yeah. you again, you had zero chance because he was coming down at yeah. you. Yeah. He's home. So this is what I thought would happen, guys. Again, um, yeah, you know, <laughs> we knew it was sort of like fat chance. I mean, at least I got a take, but yeah, um, I knew I was going to draw that fish out and I knew it was likely to be a downstream take. And as Dave said, I, I just, I literally saw this set of lips just come up and, and there was no, there's no turn again. There was no definitive up, rise, take and turn. No. Nope. Okay. So you said he's home? he's home. Wow. Crazy. Well, I wonder if I put on a caddis here. Well guys, 
we've just watched this fish basically come down at a water strider and spook at it. <laughs> so um, I've actually gone 5X and just to a size 16 polywing caddis and we'll see what happens. I, I don't have lots of hope with this fish, but um, you just gotta try. I'll have a try. Um, you know, yeah. all I can do. Okay. Yep. No, I sat, but there is no budging. Wow. Really? You had to nymph. You double chomped. Oh, f Like what? Double chomped the nymph. I sat, but there was nothing there. I didn't f anything. Double chomp on the nymph. Ah. Okay. Let's, let's see. Okay. okay. Well, so there you go. I got a double chomp on the nymph, is what Dave's saying. I didn't see the dry fly tickle at all. I, when Dave said set, I set, nothing there. So I um, might rest this fish and just see if he goes back to feeding at all. He has been fairly consistently taking the nymphs. As Dave's saying, I can't see this fish. I'm just going on where Dave's saying he is. Well guys, I'm gonna have a last go at this fish. Again, I'm gonna use a even larger beetle pattern this time. Um, again, he triple chomped, as Dave said, on the nymph. Um, and then just wouldn't come and look at my nymph pattern again. So I'm just gonna see if this fish wants to come up to a, a bigger beetle pattern and then we'll move on after that. If it happens, awesome. If not, so be it. Yes! What? Oh no! What? No, I thought you had that. I had that oh, fish! Yeah. Sorry. What the hell? Oh. I waited too. It was cut, he, he oh. It, came across, <sighs> straight across left, and then he followed it downstream and ate right at you. I can't even believe it. I don't. I don't understand it. I just simply don't. <laughs> you know what? <laughs> you get those ones you don't understand. Whoa. Yeah, I waited for those set of mouths to to chomp. I don't know, man. Again. I guess we'll see on video. <laughs> oh, that's a piss off. That's okay. That happens in life, um, in this thing called fly fishing. And yeah, again, you know, pleased with my cast. I, I definitely gave him a lot of time to come out because I didn't go at the fish at all with that fly. But he was so willing to come and eat that. I just, yeah. You had him. A little bit devastated on that, but you know what, it popped. I definitely had them for five. like two seconds. About five head shakes to be exact. Oh, really? Yep. There you go. Okay, five head shakes and it was over. <laughs> so, I mean, this fish is still rising uh, after, after what it's doing. Um, absolutely spectacular that Amelia is absolutely nailing the cast to this perfect spot to get that fish to come to the food. This is an absolutely perfect example of don't go right at the fish, put it out, let the fish come to the food. And uh, from where we are, I mean, the only thing I guess would be different would be for her to crawl all the way around and cast across and let it drift down. But now you have a risk of what, what happens if the fish just decides to come, like do a normal upstream eat. Well, now that, that would be facing her too from that angle. And now you pull the fly out again. So uh, we're gonna have a bite to eat, the classic <laughs> snack break, and it's, it's <laughs> definitely mean, bite to eat time. <laughs> yeah, a big beetle, wow. a little beetle, and a nymph eat so far. That's three eats from a fish that is in gin clear, low flow water in the bright sun, and it's just a matter if you know your casting has been spot on. I mm -hmm. I don't blow smoke up people's asses, and, and Amelia will tell you that I ride her ass bad when it's it's when it's not going well for you oh yeah i'm not nice and i and i get in your face i get in your grill and say okay we got to fix this yeah so i'm not blowing smoke this has been phenomenal this is a this is just an epic game with this with this probably 22 to 23 inch brown easy and but let me tell you guys when i look at that video that you're gonna see of this fish when he comes to eat that beetle it is so slow and he is sucking it in and 
there, there's barely any yeah. turning barely. and that's the trouble you know it's but hard yeah, to yeah. get i mean i had them i had them there for yeah. a few seconds but yeah not solid well and that that you nymph know? eat the nymph yeah. eat was literally the mouth you'll see it it just eats and never closes its mouth but it goes like this one two three and it never closes its mouth it, it, it's just half closed and it's like what do you do with that when you got this tiny little nymph it's like it's classic yep. behavior though of really lazy brown trout well eh? in I this mean, water they yeah. can be yeah. and again we've mentioned that this is kind of like fishing a shoal on a lake a really shallow shoal on a lake where they can cruise around do what they want and that's what this guy is doing and it's just like you've got to be kidding me yeah yeah power bar time yep. <laughs> <laughs> So guys, this is take four. I've had my power bar. <laughs> and honestly, the reality is I have been really proud of my cast. Um, the fact that I've actually had three takes to this fish and this fish continues to keep rising. I mean, it obviously isn't eager, eager to feed, which is cool. It's giving me lots of chances. Um, all my chances have been good and it's just a, just a shithouse luck thing. And so that's pretty cool. But I'm going to go with take four right now. All right, we're going to do this. There we go. Yes, yes, yes. Strip like a son of what the hell? I strip like a son of a bitch and there he goes. <laughs> wow, he absolutely came screaming at me. Okay, out. okay I, 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 I can't stop laughing. <laughs> okay, that is ridiculous. I mean, I don't know, Dave. That's like, that's the supreme of shit house luck, you guys. I waited on that downstream eat. I had that fish on and you heard me strapping, strapping so fast because that fish was coming right at me. And I couldn't, I couldn't strip fast enough. It looked like a dog that was chasing a bone. Wow. Past you, you know? like, oh, that was just freaking uh, insane. Hey, oh my you, gosh. You can't make it up. No, you just can't sometimes. Um, <laughs> you guys get to laugh at me on that one. Holy smokes. No. I have to admit, guys, this is getting a little ridiculous for me. Um, again, I thought I had that fish solidly. Um, you had that fish. I had that fish solidly. I did. I mean, Dave is saying to me, I had that fish solidly. Head shake, head shake, you know, but I, because I was, I stripped on him. I had him solid. And again, one of those head shakes and out pops my fly. I mean, you just, you can't make this kind of thing up. You just can't. Um, don't know what to say. I'm really pleased about how I'm fishing. It's just that, yeah, not connecting. Crazy. Okay, so again, this fish has actually gone back to its feeding station. I haven't seen it rise again, but Dave's saying that it's, you know, it's, it's happy. So maybe I'll get another chance and we'll see. Well guys, one thing I have decided to do is just to go with a wider gap hook. Um, I've got a little size 10 uh, greystone and uh, I've always actually had really good success on that fly. And so 
I am going to give that a go. It's a wider gap hook and uh, I should, should be good with that. I'm sure hoping. <laughs> All right, so here goes. Okay. Yep. I, I pulled. No way. The sits is so ridiculous. I pulled. Oh, perfect. 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 Everything. You see it seriously? Man, I don't know what to say. This is, did the dry tickle? Because I only saw the fish. It just tickled, and I set at that point. So I don't... Maybe there's minute stuff happening where I'm not catching up enough. I don't know. I just don't know. I saw it tickle, and I set, so... <laughs> hey, hey. You, it's all an evening fish. Hey, you yep. just, you don't know what's going to happen. You don't. Yeah. And I mean, we saw some, some solid tracks, right? And oh, we, yeah. we knew that we were doing some fishing follow-up. I did. <laughs> <laughs> and when you yep. get um, basically flows that are about a third of normal flows and, and the water's cool, yep. but there's four or five fresh, fresh, fresh boot tracks either today, probably uh, two of them were today and a couple yes. were from yesterday. How, and you just go, you know what? You got to have a go. It's going to mm -hmm. be fun. But usually this time of year, especially when you get that smoky haze, magnified light, we've, again, we've noticed that in New Zealand. If you're fishing, mm -hmm. oh, those browns just get like really wary, spooky yeah, stuff. And good luck, Chuck. <laughs> so it's, it, it is hard watching that. I've seen it a few times with people and it, you just get it on a roll. I mean, even the best fly fishers out there, you know, good, solid roll, bad roll, negative roll, you know, it, it just rolls. And I don't know, it really wasn't frustrated at all. It was just keep, keep going. Perfect disposition, but it happens. And <laughs> it, it's rough, but you know what? The last thing you do as any, any kind of friend or a husband, that kind of thing, you don't pick up the rod at to, 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 to work any fish at the end of that. You know, there's a couple more fish that were like, okay, maybe I could have a go at. Now, after watching those misses and those whatever cosmic whatevers, you just, you leave it alone. You know, you don't want up anybody at that point. It's just having fun and enjoying the moment together. And you, you just let that be. If you love our content and want to support us while viewing and experiencing our best media and educational content, our Patreon channel is alive with content. By joining our site, you gain access to weekly producer's notes supporting every YouTube feature, as well as access to our topical short courses and access to our Fly Fishing Trout Streams Master Course. Our Patreon page is a perfect exchange where we provide our best and most in-depth work to improve your trout stream fly fishing while supporting our work so we can continue to develop and grow our media.